Welcome to the Platform and Interface Operations module. By the end of this module, you should be able to monitor platform and interface operations. The Juno CLI is a powerful tool for monitoring Juno's OS devices. The Juno CLI includes several show and monitor commands that facilitate system monitoring. In addition to the Juno CLI, several other monitoring tools exist, such as Paragon Insights, formerly HealthBot, Juno Space, the JWeb, SNMP, Hardware LEDs, and Front Panel Displays, or LCDs. Refer to the Juniper Network's tech library for specific details on a particular platform. You can access the website from the reference links document. You can obtain most system information using show system argument commands. Some of the most common arguments are displayed. The alarms argument displays the current system alarms. The boot messages argument displays the messages seen during the last system boot. The connections argument displays the status of local TCP and UDP connections. The statistics argument provides the options for viewing various protocol statistics. The storage argument displays the status of the file system storage space. You can view the list of common arguments in the resources section of this module. You can monitor the chassis and obtain chassis information using the show chassis argument commands. Some of the most commonly used arguments are displayed. The alarms argument displays the current chassis alarms. The environment argument displays the component and environmental status as well as the operational speeds of the cooling system. The hardware argument displays an inventory of the installed hardware components, along with the serial number of each component. The routing engine argument provides the operational status and utilization details for the routing engine. You can use the Show Interfaces command to verify various details and status information for interfaces. A number of command options exist that determine the generated output for the Show Interfaces command. This example illustrates the use of the Interface Name option, which filters the generated output and displays details only for the specified interface. If the Interface Name option is excluded, the output provides interface details for all installed interfaces. The example illustrates the Show Interfaces terse command. In this example, the Interface Name option is omitted which causes all installed interfaces and their accompanying details to be displayed. This command is ideal when you need to verify state information for physical and logical interfaces. This command's output shows all installed interfaces in the left column, provides state, protocol family, and addresses details on the right of each listed interface. When a user administratively shuts down an interface with the disable command, the admin column shows down for that interface. If a physical link is down due to a faulty connection or disconnected cable, the link column shows down. You can use the Show Interfaces Extensive command to view detailed information for a named interface or all interfaces when a specific interface is not identified. The example shows a portion of the generated output using the Extensive option. This command is ideal when troubleshooting interfaces because it shows errors, statistics, and physical and logical interface properties. This command is also helpful when determining default settings for interfaces. The screen depicts the typical output from the monitor interface command. This command provides real-time packet and byte counters in addition to displaying error and alarm conditions. Note that your terminal session must support VT100 emulation for the screen to correctly display the output. To view real-time usage statistics for all interfaces, use the Monitor Interface Traffic command. You can use the keys listed at the end of the CLI output to control the output while the command is running. Welcome to the Network Utilities module. By the end of this module, you should be able to use the Juno's OS Network Utilities. Juno CLI provides ping and traceroute utilities. You can use these tools to determine general network reachability and the path that packets take to reach a destination. 
You can use various arguments with the ping and traceroute commands, such as source IP address and packet size, to further assist in problem isolation. By default, the ping utility sends a continuous flow of Internet Control Message Protocol, or ICMP echo requests, to the reference destination. To stop the ping operation, you press the Control C keys, as illustrated in the example. Alternatively, you can include the count option with a specified number of ICMP echo requests to send out. The CLI's Monitor Traffic command provides access to the TCP dump utility. This tool monitors traffic that originates or terminates on the local routing engine. If you do not specify an interface, the management interface is monitored. This capability provides a way to monitor and diagnose problems at Layer 2 or L2 using the Layer 2 headers argument. You can match packet fields using the matching option and save packet captures for analysis from a third-party packet decoder, such as Wireshark, using the Write File option. This screen illustrates an example of the CLI Monitor Traffic command. Note that to stop a packet capture, you use the Ctrl-C keyboard sequence. The CLI supports powerful Telnet, SSH, and FTP clients. These clients support various arguments that tailor their specific operations. You use the CLI's file copy command to transfer files to and from devices running Junos OS. This example uses the file copy command in conjunction with the FTP client to transfer a file from a remote FTP server to the local device running Junos OS. Here is another example using the Secure Copy Protocol, or SCP. Welcome to the Password Recovery Module. By the end of this module, you should be able to perform password recovery. If you become locked out of a Junos OS device, you can recover the root password. As a security precaution, you can perform the recovery only by using the console connection. You can disable the password recovery option by setting the console port to the insecure mode as displayed. The steps for recovering the root password on most Junos devices are 1. Reboot the system. Press the spacebar when prompted. Enter boot-s to access single user mode. 2. Enter recovery when prompted to go into recovery mode. 3. Set root password. 4. Commit the change and exit the configuration mode. Reboot when prompted. Note that the password recovery process differs for some platforms. Please refer to the Juniper Network's Knowledge-Based Technical Publications for more details. You can access the website from the reference links document. Here are the steps for recovering the root password on Junos OS with upgraded free BSD. Press Ctrl-C at the displayed part in the reboot to bring up the Junos main menu. At the Junos OS main menu, press the M or 5 key to activate the More Options menu. Press C or 2 key to access the recovery mode, CLI option. The router will reboot into CLI recovery mode. When prompted, press the Enter key to immediately boot the router, or press any other key to bring up the command prompt. Enter the configuration mode in the CLI and set the root password. Commit the change and exit the configuration mode. Reboot when prompted. Refer to the Juniper Network's tech library for specific details on a particular platform. You can access the website from the reference links document.